to hump. Hello, hello. Knees, baby, can't you see my mind's been burning to hell? I got razors a ripping and tearing and scraping my heart apart as well. Tonight you told me that you wake with someone new. Thank you for the rose. Roses. <laughs> Something that might be good for you. Always appreciated. Hold it till the screaming is gone Go on, believe her when she tells you nothing's wrong Cross the fire for you And I'm the only one to drown in my desire for you Sorry I've been there before and I'm locking the door and I'm not going back again Her eyes and arms and skin won't make it go away You'll wake up tomorrow and wrestle the sorrow that holds you down today Go on and hold her till the screaming is gone Go on, believe her when she tells you nothing's wrong I hope everyone's doing good. Don't think that I won't answer just because I'm belting out horribly. <laughs> Is it simply soft? Yeah, simply soft. The only thing I hate about Simply Soft is that it uses up real quick. That and they never spin it tight enough. It always splits. I could hit that note very well actually but I am an ex-cigarette smoker and I don't practice that often so I don't sing as well as I used to not my long shot I am working on a hat by the way I keep in mind, folks, when you are coming and going out of people's rooms, if you have not heard them greet you right away, that is because they are not seeing your name right away. There is, in fact, a huge time delay. Really big, in fact. Up to 45 seconds sometimes. Timed it. So... Chatting happens immediately. Me reading it out loud and responding to it, there's a huge delay between those two things that happen. So I may see it right away, immediately after you send your message, uh, but you hearing me greet you or respond to it, there is a huge delay. And the numbers up here also, they lie. They don't update like they're supposed to um, for about 
30, 40 minutes one time, I saw that there were 30 people in here. I was like, oh, why isn't anybody talking? I refreshed it and there were zero. And I don't know how long there were zero people. Thank you very much for the roses, dear. Very, very much appreciated. Like, it, it, it's so much appreciated, it really is. Like, I don't sound enthused, I'm just exhausted, but trust me. My heart is full. Believe that. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, darling. color change that is going to be four rows long. I'm a lazy piece of something and I don't like cutting my yarn especially if I'm going to reuse that color so I'm going to carry the color down the entire hat because that's what I do. Are you just going to lay there while I throw yarn over your head? I guess so. Apparently that's what we do now. <laughs> All right, so now logically, most people when they do color changes, they do it right on, but since I'm keeping this color, I'm actually going to do it here, right before, so that the chains for the start of this row and the carry up chains from this will be side by side and it won't be too distracting. And you're 
nothing to in what you're doing Are you just getting by? Tell me, are you just getting by, by, by When it is I forgot there wasn't a harmony there Oops find a marigold because that would be a really pretty color to do for Iron Man because that's the perfect Iron Man red deep and brassy <laughs> Mama told me when I was young, sit so beside me, my only son. Listen closely to what I say. Where does that moth keep coming from? Some sunny day, I am leaving. Time. Don't live too fast. Troubles will come. And they will pass. how I carry up the color. Chain three and then slip into the top of the yellow. And to keep it smooth, there's a loop there. When I chain, so I'll stick my, I'll pull that down, pull that down, go through that loop, and then through the yellow. Seeing this in concert. What you making? A hat. Is that Gryffindor colors? Maybe. <laughs> You'll find yourself. Where's my Hufflepuff? No, I'm kidding. So, did you see the video where I laid out the challenge last night? I don't have Hufflepuff, but... Oh, God. 
Raise the car, anyone? <laughs> I should specify it's movie Ravenclaw. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff, so sorry. So, do you see? Do you see the challenge I laid down to Spartan? Uh, uh what's Hufflepuff's colors again? Yellow and silver. That's a weird color combination. Come on, look. One doesn't help me. Uh, yellow and black. Oh, well, I got black. That's boring. Then you look like a beehive or a bee's butt. <laughs> Thanks. That's why I said silver. Anyway, so, so last night. If that'd be a Huffleclaw. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a, Huff I'll be a Huffleclaw. That's fine. But, um, so I laid down the challenge to uh, Spartan last night, a lip sync ba uh, fridge battle. Oh, boy. And I messaged him last night and he saw it. I'm like, sir, are we game? He hasn't responded yet. I'm like, you. Because <laughs> I think he's still mad at me because I said in the video, I said, I know you want to get payback from the uh, peanut butter, jelly, and tuna fish water you had to eat last week. You. Oh, All me. Man. All me. So how's uh, B? He seems to be doing okay. His apartment's making him ill. What? Yeah, there's black mold in his AC. What? Yeah. Oh heck no! I would be um not paying rent. Yep, he's already called somebody about it, and they're supposed to be coming out soon to fix it. They better. But he had to turn his AC off, and it's, you know, Florida. And, so. of course, it's hot in Florida, so, yeah. Damn it. Right. I was wondering, I saw where he posted he was sick, and he was reposting videos. I'm like, well, what's going on? Because he's actually sick. From the black mold. Yep. He thinks oh, that's man. part of like why his behavior has been off because black mold fucks you up. Like, it's yeah, not... that it really does. It sh and then they need to move him to another apartment and give him like free rent. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's a sublease. Like, I'm ninety percent certain it's a sublease. I don't, I don't care. That's black mold. In any contract, that's a health. That's a health violation. Yeah, if it is a sublease, the guy he's subleasing from needs to pay for him to, like, stay at a hotel or something until it's fixed. Exactly, it's so he not, can get if better. If it's not a sublease, and he is at, because, I mean, there are fully furnished apartments in, in, in Florida. Oh, my companies. God, Harper. Right? So, if they're not going to fix it, he can't live there while it's like that. He's got to go somewhere. They've got to give him credits or something. I would actually, what is, I would actually demand this month's rent be free because of that. That would be me too. Honestly. That's black mold. That's That could, that kills people. Yes, it does. And with him already having a weakened immune system. Right. No. Oh my God. Poor guy. Damn it. I didn't do it. Two steps in a row I did. Oh. oh mm. I didn't do it's it. A, it's supposed to have a chain in between. So so see how there's a gap here? Yeah. Right there. Where'd you go? We're almost all the way over. See that? No gap. Between two stitches. Two of them. Two I didn't do it. Them. I didn't do it. Three of them. Three stitches. One, two, three. There's supposed to be three. Oh. So now, this is what I have to do. I you gotta from, do the whole thing all over. Oh, damn. Up until that point, yeah. I didn't do it. Oh, you're gonna be proud of me. Four days, no cigarettes. How much have you baked, though? This is almost a week and a half old. Good. So. So you're not using it as a crutch. 
No. Good. I am I am literally trying and it's it's salt nick, which is better for you than the regular nick. Yeah. And it's rechargeable, so I have I wanted to and pop in and 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 what? I was gonna say, and it, and you know, if it doesn't work, you know, if you, I don't want to use the word relapse, but that's the best way to describe what I mean. If Go back. Able, do do what I told you, and if you're able to, if it's the refillable cartridges, get the same flavor or a comparable flavor, something that'll mix well. And dilute your nicotine every time you fill it. You know what? She's making a hat, Chelsea. Oh, always making a hat. Always making hats. So yeah, I'm, I'm about to put. If I'm crocheting with regular yarn, I'm usually making a hat. If I'm not, I'm. It's either a hat or a granny square. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to cook here in a little bit. I had kielbasa and broccoli for lunch i had a salad before i went to work today i was at the restaurant and then um tonight i'm making rotisserie chicken enchiladas thank you for the follow oh my god that sounds delicious i fucking want some now see she's gonna she's make me she's gonna make me come to michigan and cook for her ass Heck yeah and then i'll cook for you because i'll blow everybody's mind oh yeah we cooking (laughs) we cooking Oh my. I, can't, I, I can cook. I should say I know how to cook when it comes to being capable of cooking. I can't because one, I need to sit down and my kitchen is too small for a chair. It's literally too small for a chair. Because it's one of them ones that's literally counter, enough space to like stand against the counter, stove, and then other other wall, which is counter and fridge. Like it's not, you know, too not a big kitchen. Operate. No, two people cannot operate in my kitchen side by side. Hmm. It's not possible. So I checked on Spartan the other day uh, I didn't because I didn't go yeah. live last night, but I checked on him during my live. I'm like, hey, you alive? Because he didn't post anything all day. Since yeah. He was driving. So he sends me a voice message on uh, Insta and he's talking in a country accent. I'm like, are you making fun of me, dude? <laughs> like, Andrew. I wanted to say that. I, I'm like, are you making fun of me? trash panda <laughs> be like listen here you walnut <laughs> no he's sweet though he um they were visiting with I family know he is. so I know he is. yeah i know he's uh, sweet but if we do this battle i'm in trouble you know he's gonna come up with the grossest combo for me on this battle because of the tuna fish peanut butter and jelly I know I'm a sick individual. I'm sorry. He lost a fridge battle. So, speaking of unexpected things, I bet you he's getting an accent because he interacts with so many people who have that accent. Exactly. Hey, Tammy. I've noticed. And Tina. When I talk to you more often, notice I'm not masking anymore. I, I have decided that I am going to actively try not to mask anymore because people don't believe that I'm Southern. And it's fine that they don't believe I'm Southern, but it's like, well... It's fine. It's fine. I caught it. <laughs> but, like, I've been masking my whole life. I'm 36. I'm too fucking old for this shit. You know what? I sound how I sound, and I don't give a shit anymore. I know how smart I am. I don't care if people think, well, you sound uneducated. Well, you know what? You look ignorant. So, hush. Hi, Christina. It's just my voice. You know what I mean? I sounded like this my whole life. I ended up masking because of an ex who made fun of me. He would literally stop conversations and would correct me because I used to say I would say soda instead of because in Michigan they call it pop. And he literally, I would be saying, oh, da, 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 blah, 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 soda. And he go, he would literally stop me and go, you mean, so, you mean pop every time. No, I mean, I say Coke. And he was so rude about it. Yeah, in South Carolina, we don't, I mean, you know, when you're talking to outsiders who don't live in South Carolina, it's soda. Like, generally, it's soda. But if you're from South Carolina, everything's a Coke. Well, what kind of Coke is it? Oh, it was Sprite. You know what I'm saying? Or people I don't say, even it Coke know or who you are. <laughs> or my favorite question is, was it Coke or, 
was it Coke Coke or was it Pepsi Coke? <laughs> exactly. So I'll ask people just what they want to drink. Um, what, what Tina, flavor, I'll be. What do you want? So yeah, what do you, you want? want? You want Sprite? Pepper. You want Dr. Pepper? You want Coke? You want Diet Coke? You want lemonade? You want tea? Sweet or unsweet? When I when I was working uh, at uh, Larry's in South Carolina, you know, we had to. We had. Um, did we have Pepsi products? I cannot remember. What did we have? We had Pepsi products because I remember when Code Red uh, got the new when Live. What is it? Live Wire is the orange flavor. I remember yeah. Live Wire was brand new. I see you. It's been a while. You have missed class several times now. <laughs> uh, who is that? Uh, one of my regular viewers who acts like an honorary student. Honorary. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Right. But, and um. You have been late. You have missed several classes. I, 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 hey, forever. But, yeah, I wanted to pop in and say hi. And, yes, I am going to go live tonight. But I wanted to cook dinner, too. So I'm going to have leftovers for the weekend. And... Are you kidding me? Did you do it again? Right now. In the same spot. What is <laughs> up with that? I have nothing to do with this, guys. What so whatever is happening, I didn't do it. Did I have I no part in it. Did I pull it far enough or did I do it more than I wonder if I did it more than once. And I didn't catch it the first time. Because it was farther over, I thought. Y'all know she's about to kill me, right? What? Because I'm the one distracting her. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, do you know what I mean? Okay, listen. I have probably crocheted this style hat at least two or 3,000 times. Not even an exaggeration. Um, at least once every hat. I have to undo a row. There was one time I was really ill. It was while I was, um, I had put it down. I was, when I was sick with COVID and I was trying to crochet the rainbow hat every fucking row. I was undoing because I kept missing the chains in between. And I have made this hat almost every single day since I started making them. At least once. That's I how much practice I am. That is 10 years worth of making this fucking design. And sometimes I fuck up so bad, I got to set the shit down and be like, okay, I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. I love you. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping if, if, this weekend, if he doesn't have his kids, I hope he does this fridge battle because yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be I, sick. I'm going to have my trash can right next to me. It's going to be hilarious. Because you're going to be in there. You better be on my side. I swear if you are on his side, no. I'm going to switch. I, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Why do you look like we're going to go to both sides? You guys suck. <laughs> so it's like, uh, do we have loyalty? Or do we want to fuck with the hot guy? Because it's funny. Maybe if we fuck with him enough, he'll screw up. <laughs> no, because we don't want to get him bananaed. It's true. Thank you, Tina. I love you. Thank you. John's already said he's... Time. John already said he's going said? both ways. What was it I said? I said something. The first time me and him interacted, I said something to him, and it was very forward. And he... Blushed. Not only did he blush, but he went like this for about a second, and he was like, and he walked off. <laughs> came like, and he walked off. <laughs> came back. <laughs> but then it was payback because he had a fucking spoon in his mouth. Hang on. Heathen. Um. So what is going on? Is I challenged one of my TikTok friends to a lip sync fridge battle. I'm waiting for him to respond with the time and day. I set the stipulations. I'm waiting for him to set the time and day. And unfortunately, this one right here is saying she's going to both of them. I don't know what she's talking about. 
So I'm the one that's going to end up getting sick. This is why I'm going to have a trash can next to me the whole time and a lot of water. <laughs> and yes, ma'am, I did drink my water today and yesterday. Did you take any vitamins or meds you need to take? I took my meds like I'm supposed to because my tooth is feeling a hell of a lot better. Good. So, didn't ha- I took my antibiotic, but I did not have to take a pain pill today. Uh, ibuprofen. Oh, that's good. That's a good. So, that's a good sign. It might have just been an infection. Yeah. All right. So, Heathen, have you ever heard of a fridge battle? which I know there's going to be lag. So I'm just going to tell you what it is. Basically you battle one of your friends. It can be, or anybody else. Mine is with friends. Cause I love my friends. And um, what it is, is whoever loses that battle, the winner gets to pick what that person mixes together and either eats or drinks. And it could be the nasty. It could be something good or it's going to be most of the time it's nasty. So last week he was in a battle with another one of our friends and one of the things he had to eat and he's going to get revenge on me because it was, I was the one who came up with it was peanut butter jelly with tuna fish water on top of it. When she told him it was me, he looked at the camera. He's like, you're sick. (laughs) I left you. I left you. (laughs) That's so funny. So I know he's probably coming up with something in his head thinking, hmm, how can I get her back? It's fun, but it's gross too. Cause it can be, you could, it could be something you hate. And thank God I don't have a lot in my fridge that I hate, <laughs> but I feel like he's going to give me a mixture. And one of them he's been trying to get is someone to do a raw egg. I will never, ever be brave enough because I have severe textural issues. I'd be like, I can test you. You I, mm, mm-mm. Uh, Probably what I'm going to have to do if raw egg is one of the ingredients is take out my nose ring because I can't really hold my nose because it's an L shape. Take out my nose ring, hold my nose and just chug a thing and be like, please, God, do not make me sick. Well, you could add some soy sauce to it, at least. I don't have any soy sauce. Ooh. So it's going to be, egg I know is going to be one of his main ingredients. It always is. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Hey, Des. I'm going to die. Anyway, share. How are the babies? Loud and getting big. They're sleeping right now, but holy shit. So they're at that stage where, like, they're learning object permanence. So they Uh don't understand that, like, because, you know, when you're a newborn, especially if you're nursing like they were, food happens right now. Like, you want it, it's right there. Right. And they're not, they're not nursing and they're not on bottles because you can't, once a piglet gets to a certain size, you can't bottle feed, they'll aspirate, they'll inhale the the milk. So we have been mixing it with, um, very wet pig food and it's kind of powdery consistency is runnier, think runnier than grits, a little smoother than grits. Okay. So somewhere between grits and cream of wheat is the texture, right? No, there is not such a thing as a dwarf pig. No, there's not. Um, There is a such thing as a very deformed pig. Uh, So now when they want out or of their little pen or they're hungry, they scream and scream and scream and scream and scream and scream because it's not happening fast enough. So when you have nine voices screaming at the top of their lungs demanding to be fed, it can get very overwhelming very quickly. So they're exactly. at that stage where they're, they're, they're learning. They haven't quite learned that, you know, just because you're hungry doesn't mean you're starving and you will be fed. There's no need for screaming. So that's, that's our next battle is teaching them a little bit of manners. You don't have to scream for your food. I'm going to feed you. Hush. Remind me not to scream for my food. Um, <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is like, look at me. 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I am very well behaved. Yes, I am well behaved. When it comes to food, I am self-sufficient. Sorry, I have a loose piece of skin on my lip. Ooh. Right? Yeah, it's starting to warm up down here. Um. Oh, he then he doesn't know. So when she raises her brow at me, I behave. We don't have a dynamic, but boy, if I don't get her to listen when she's misbehaving when her eyebrow goes up in the air. We have a very, we have a very weird friendship. <laughs> Wait, are you, is she? Hmm. Are we what? <laughs> she, if he's talking about the brat brow, yes, I am one. She wants to be, not mine specifically, but in general. But she is one of my best friends, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> exactly. This is how our, we, yes, you're right. Weird friendships are the best. <laughs> if we weren't weird, I mean. <laughs> We'd be so boring. You would, yeah, would look at our lives like, uh, what? I don't want to be like anybody else. I, I don't want to conform. I, I just want to. Yeah, I conform it. where it needs to be. Other than that, I am a free spirit. I conform enough so that I am not breaking the law. Exactly. And I conform because I work uh, medical. I love the colors too. I'm like, I don't, she's not going to make me one that makes me look like a bumblebee though. She's like, nope, <laughs> you're going to look like a bumblebee's ass. So, you ain't no friend of mine. I am going to see if I can do it how I did the, um, the hat from the other night where it's the two, where is it? Uh, where it's the two, two colors in one row. Yeah. How I usually, I don't, cause I don't usually make, where is it? I usually don't, rude. I don't usually make them that way because that style is very snug. It doesn't stretch as far. And You're a chaotic neutral? That, ooh, that's a good thing. He's also a dom. I kind of figured that when I read his profile. I saw he went completely blue again. I, I had made a comment this morning when he was dieting. And I'm like, dude, use Windex. I kid you not, because I dye my hair. And I've gotten red right here. And I've, I used Windex and it got it off, surprisingly. It's because the ammonia. Oh, our friend, uh, one of our TikTokers we follow, Billy. Oh, he, it, um, she follows Billy. Yeah, he, he got rid of the red, but it looks good. When he was sitting there dying and I made the smart ass comment, I'm like, hey, you look like Hades from Descendants when he had his hair in a uh, spike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did. I, I thought it was someone else who was asking. Yeah, I know. She follows him. She, she follows me on my other account, too. He looked, I mean, he looked really good. He's like, did I miss any spots? And I'm like, dude, turn around. He kind of looked down uh, before, when I said it. And I'm like, oh, it looks fine. I think he should have mixed the red and the blue together. He oh, looks uh, really good he, with the blue. He's actually a friend of mine. We became friends through TikTok. The friendships we make on TikTok. Right? I have become friends with so many people around the world. I love it. I was on at like 3 a.m. Well, it was like midnight to 2 a.m. or something. He popped in here and we've just been hanging out ever since. Well, we need to hurry up and get him to a thousand and see what, uh, have him come and pop in our box up here. <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> the things. Hey, it's true. I mean, you get three boxes. Yeah, oh, oh gosh. What did I do? If they ask it about me, what did I do? Uh-oh. <laughs> Had to be all good. Who's that crazy Southern lady? It is. 
right? most people can get three. Some people are only getting two boxes. Yeah, I I think I can have. I don't know how many I can have. Someone else asked who 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 can who else can join. I wonder how many I can get up to. Tina. Tina uh, can. She has a thousand. Christina. But um oh our duets. I know I had that one. You want to be my I am your friend? Do I have a choice? No. <laughs> I want to do that one. I'm gonna do that one. You got to. Tina, get your butt in here. This says zero fuss. How many did I can have I've had two so far, I think. Like but um, I know. Let's see. Spartan has had three. Yeah. Who else is running it? And I've seen other people that have had four total. Like, but they've all been like, boop, 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 like all the way around. So, like, I think when you hit like ten thousand, you can have more. Uh, yeah, you can do um, you can do multiple duels at once too. I think if you get to a certain amount. It's it's weird. I wonder, hold on, I wonder if go live with another host. So that's the side by side. The co host is like me and you. Is the guest is what you're doing. Add up. I am a guest. Zero request. I, I don't know. I guess I can, I think maybe my limit is at two. But you have like as many people as I do. Okay, you have more people than I do. I don't know. It says I can add one more person. It literally says so you're in here. Where's the co-host? Guest. Guest request. Um oh, you know what? They added something. So on my window when I hit co-host, because I'm on my tablet, so it's a little the setup is a little different. My my little button yeah. is right there. So I'll hit co-host and it pops up and it has add host or add guest. If I go on the guest one, I can actually disconnect you from my window. That didn't used to be a feature. There's a she can take me out. She can kick me out. Yeah, I know, Heathen. I hate it when you have to hit a thousand just to get in. Right. I know I had that sad little message too. I had that for a sad while. message on my other account and it makes me very sad. Because I want to go live on that account, and I only have 400-something people on that account. And most of them are, like, spam. <laughs> I know, most of mine are. Like, oh, I didn't tell you. So, and Mike had to make a video about this. Somebody made an, an account under his name, which, when they had followed me, I had, um, I had sent it to him at first, and I said, hey, is this you? He's like, no. This is a spam account. This is somebody who's pretending to be me. So apparently that person was adding people from his followers, harassing them and everything, pretending to be him. Whoa. Like bad, asking for money and stuff. And he's like, nope, not me. And I even like, I even found it and I said, hey, what about this one? Because I thought it was another one. He's like, nope, same person. And you can't report it. Like, if you know the actual person and you know this is a fake account, you can't report it for them. And yeah. they won't take it off. They only, they only, they only do that for verified accounts. They only that is do so the stupid. Whole, they, they only do, they only take um, it seriously. Hey, Jess. When you do the, this person is impersonating me, they only take it seriously when you um, have a blue check mark. That's not fair. No, it's really not. That's a lot. Thank God there hasn't been another one like me because I am unique, bitches. Because legitimately, I think if you're over a certain amount of followers and um, it's like how they do with Twitter. With Twitter, all you have to do is have a certain amount of followers consistently um, and a certain number of like tweet interactions consistently and your ID to verify your Twitter account. I think they should do verified accounts for other people too, especially if they have over, you know, at least 5,000 followers. That's kind of like, um, Mast. He has a lot of followers, but he can't get his blue check mark. Right. Girl, I put, please somebody copy me because, uh, all my followers know who I am. 
They know how I am. And I know y'all would tell me, hey, somebody's doing this. Bitch, get your own account. I'm boring. I mean, in the in this grand scheme of like TikTok world, you know. We're like, boring. We're bo- I'm boring. Like, I don't post content people want to actually follow. People follow me now because of my profile picture. Boobs. That's all I said. Boobs. See, and I make reaction videos and I lip sync to old songs. That's me. I don't make original content. No, oh, I, Jess, thank no, you. No, I mean like in the in in the way the TikTok like, world. In the TikTok world. Like me personally, I'm not boring. I'm just funny as hell. Um, but it, when it comes to the TikTok world, like the whole like I'm boring and I'm okay with that because I post what I'm most comfortable with. Like earlier today I posted um or was it yesterday? Whatever it was, I posted a couple of videos that were like essentially yelling at people. <laughs> and essentially, um, did you drink your water? Did you take it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's like my older sister, guys, making sure I'm okay. <laughs> Even though we're a year apart, you're still like my older sister. <laughs> I'm the mom friend. Yes. And we always make sure everyone's okay, especially if we like know something's going on. Hey, is everything okay? Right. That's how we are. That's how some, well, you're a cuss, but that's how I am as a Sagittarius. I'm a very protective person. I have a little bit of traits of like- Shut up, Ethan. Shut up. (laughs) She is my older sister. I am nobody's mommy. (laughs) No, you're not. You're 21, damn it. And that's where you're staying at. <laughs> but no, I mean, me and uh, me and Autumn, we have a relationship where it's more like we're sisters than we're friends. That's oh, just yeah. the relationship we have. And it's always been that way. Since we've met. We started, I've started following her on TikTok. We started following on Instagram. And then back and forth, we've been talking. I feel like she's uh, like an older sister. Don't. Bring up the brow, okay? Even older sisters do that. Okay, I am the bratty younger sister. <laughs> I will admit it. She has to keep me in line somehow. <laughs> and it's a good eyebrow, so might as well. It is. It very much is. <laughs> so this is our relationship, and I love it. I love our friendship. I love the sisterhood. It is perfect. I wouldn't change anything about maybe the distance, but other than that, I wouldn't change anything about it. Uh, it might not. But you're not a switch, though. Exactly. Like, if you were a switch, it would. It, re- it really would not like maybe not to the extent but it would have a different effect on you I'm a switch and the brow works on me most of the time some of the oh time. yeah as soon as I get a brow I didn't do it <laughs> I go from being bratty to I'm sorry <laughs> see and that's how I know that you're not a switch because switches would fight it even if it still affected them, they'd still fight it. You, you're just like, nope, I can't, must obey the eyebrow. <laughs> must obey. You just brat back. Mm-hmm. Heathen, where are you from? But see, um, but see, here's the thing, though. Uh, Billy said, and he it, it is very true, you cannot outbrat a dom. So. Again, Heathen, where are you from? Kentucky. Ah, shit. You're only like 10 hours away from me, maybe, if only that. 10. Only 10. I don't know. What part of Kentucky? Oh, God. My I country have, accent just came out. I have, uh, I, I used to have friends in Kentucky, but we no longer converse. Oh, I did. Um, I made a co- uh, comment on somebody's duet they did with me. She's from Louisiana, too. She's from South Louisiana. And I said, man, it would be awesome. 
if we could get people from Louisiana together, like us TikTokers. And they tried, but because of all the rain we had, we weren't able to. I'm like, I would love to. She's like, well, where are you? I said, Northwest Louis or Northeast, excuse me, Northwest, Northeast Louisiana. She's like, oh yeah, we're going to plan this. Cause I would love to meet the other TikTokers in Louisiana. Right. So there, you know where I'm at, heathen, Louisiana. <laughs> Uh, Lady Cree is uh, also in Michigan. Yeah, I think. Um, She's upper Michigan. Yeah, North Central. That don't help me none. North Central Kentucky, like shit. Close to mountains or no? <laughs> okay, Alabama a lot, so not. Yeah, but Alabama's closer. Let me just say this. I'm four hours from New Orleans. That's all you need to know. Oh, that ain't nothing. Nah. Oh, I'm not, oh I want to go to Mardi Gras too, but not right now. Four hours is uh, the drive from Ventura to San Diego. Where I, I used New to Orleans. live in Ventura. You're an hour from Louisville. Hang on, hang on a second. If you're an hour from Louisville, I'm I'm Google mapping. Hold on, do not judge me. You're adorable. I like I like to know where my friends are from. Um, um apparently one of them is fifteen hundred miles away from me. Oh no. Let me see. I'm I'm googling stuff. I'm like having 30 million conversations at once is where all the bully shows up. Okay. So if you are an hour from Louisville, just because I'm curious, my curiosity always gets to me. My location in Michigan is about 45 minutes from a little old town called Ypsilanti. <laughs> so... From my location, and it's finding me the best route, by the way. Dude, you are nine and a half hours away from me. That ain't bad. No, that's not, that's not bad. I would have to go through... There's two ways I could go, either through Arkansas or go through Mississippi and uh, Tennessee. I like how we talk about this, like we're going to visit each other someday, like we're going to be able to. <laughs> With gas, uh, gas prices, oh, yeah. it's just a big dream. <laughs> right. I mean, but if one of us wins a lottery. Well, somebody better start not. walking. <laughs> I am not walking. <laughs> I will take a plane. If you uh, If you walked here, you'd get here, you'd be a twig <laughs> i'm already becoming a tw no I'm, I'm doing it healthy i'm already starting to get back down to where i want to i still gotta send you that picture oops so okay it is already 6 45 oh that is awesome Des. oh cool i love when that happens i know Yeah, with the right car, it's an easy drive. It's called I Would Rather Fly. <laughs> I hate could, long drives. But then you could, you could make it like a, a whole thing and you could visit other people on the way. Exactly, that I'm um, on tick from your TikTok friends, yeah. That's the best thing. But I just realized what time it is. I got to go cook dinner real quick, but uh, I will be live. All right, I'll be here. All right, love you. Love you, bye. Bye. That was fun. Yeah, I can't do it too. I, I can't. Uh, I can't drive either. Like it's. It's not. I, my health declined before I actually learned how to drive, and I don't have the opportunity, and it will be unsafe for me to drive. So it it'd be kind of pointless for me to learn. I know all the legalities of how to drive. I know how to operate a car. It's just doing it. I never, I never fully learned. I know the basics.
Like, I, you know, you stick me in a car, I could start it and start it moving and braking and all that stuff. So, I don't hit things. But actually feeling confident behind the wheel is not something I can do. And it's not safe for me, so it's pointless anyway. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I, the laws in my state changed. And then my life kind of went haywire around that same time. So, being able to drive, you were allowed to with a permit at 16. By the time I was going to be turning 16, um, the laws changed, changed it to 17. But at 16, my life was all fucked up. And then I was in a different state for a short period of time. So, the rules were different then, too. So, I never, never got around to do the, the same kid stuff people got to do. Uh, it's just, I don't know, color I felt like making. Oh, wait, hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, it went from 15 to 16, and then um, 16 to 17. When it changed, I was 13. So, I never got to do it. And then at 17, my life was chaos. And I, we didn't have a car for me to learn on. And I just never lined up for me to do it. And then I was with an abusive person who, who didn't think it was his mom tried to teach me how to drive, but every time I went to practice with him, he's like, let's do it on the highway. And I'm like, I don't want to die, though. Like, I, you don't put a newbie on the highway or even on the stretch of road that he wanted to, tr to put me on. You do parking lots first. Jesus. And he's like, well, if you don't do it my way, I'm not going to show you. So I never practiced. Oh, you're good. Listen, I sent... <laughs> I sent... Like, $450 worth of hats to a friend, so... I don't care about... I mean, I don't mind, like, making stuff for people. That's just how I express my affection towards others sometimes. So, at some point... Everybody I know who I'm friends with is going to get a hat. I could. But I would need, um... I need one of those, like, little, um... What is it? Is it what is it called? A gorilla tripod? I need a. What I need is a. Um, <sighs> GoPro style camera. So it doesn't have to be a fucking GoPro because those are stupid expensive. But but something that I can wear or something small enough to sit in front of my hands. Excuse me. To um. So that if I did a tutorial, you could see it from my perspective this way instead of um, how you guys are seeing it. Because it's if you if you want to learn in the sense of like actually doing it yourself, seeing it from the perspective you're going to actually be seeing it when you're um, to actually be making it on is much easier than watching it from that side.
There is a tutorial for a sunflower somewhere for crocheting. I should make one. It's on YouTube, I think. So I think when I get the chance, I may do, um... Crocheting. I'm crocheting. Crocheting is one of the only um, fiber arts that you cannot replicate with a machine. Because you can sew with a machine, weaving is with machine, knitting has a machine option, cross stitch and needlepoint both have machine options, crocheting does not. And despite how flooded the market is now because people are learning how to knit and crochet, it's still kind of a dying art, really. Crocheting. Because there are machine options for the other ones. Um, yeah, you can, there, um, a lot of sewing machines now have an option to make stitches that look like cross stitching. Not just the needle point, which, you know, that's embroidery, but yeah. It's obvious that it's not... done the same way as if you were doing it by hand so they cheat a little with the stitching so in that sense the way that it's done would be considered needlepoint or embroidery rather than cross stitch um because of how the machine sews it um but the front side looks like cross stitch so technically it's still needlepoint it, and embroidery, it's not cross stitch. <clears throat> it replicates the look of cross stitch rather than the technique. But, again, you know, that just means that there is a machine that can at least replicate the appearance of cross-stitch. So, you know, there is an option. Um, yeah, there really isn't a way to, to replicate this with a machine. Not really. Not accurately. Um, crochet literally relies on the human touch. Because if a machine splits the yarn, there's no eyeball that tells it that it split the yarn. It's just going to be programmed to keep going. And with me, I, when I split the yarn, even when I can't see it very well, I can tell where the stitch is, where the, where the screw up is. There's no machine that's that precise. It would take years and years and years and years to create a machine precise enough to accurately crochet properly. The technology just doesn't exist yet. And that's not to say it never will, because who fucking knows, you know? There may be robots that are dexterous enough to be able to crochet. You know? But for now, the technology is just not on par. Is crocheting harder than hand sewing? Yes. Yes, it absolutely is.
there are some stitches in hand sewing that cannot be replicated by a machine accurately to appear the same way, but there are stitches that resemble those hand stitching, the hand stitching, um, and so it essentially serves the same purpose. So certain hand stitches um, are also a dying art because the very technique for doing those stitches is dying because of how the machine can repl replicate the functionality of those stitches even if they don't look identical. Because sewing has actually evolved over time and so hand stitching from this year is different from hand stitching from the early 1900s and that is going to be different than the um, hand stitching from the early 1800s because as our knowledge and technology has shifted the way that we do our stitches also has shifted because we realize that some of those stitches that worked for 1800s no longer work because the fabric is different it lays different it pulls different um and so I think, I think the pretty, yes, I think the pretty stitches need to be practiced in a way that make them embroidery instead of something you do because you're holding two pieces of fabric together. Because a lot of those stitches are too beautiful to be hidden, but that's exactly what they are. They're hidden because that was how we did stitches back then. That's, that was, you know, some of those fancy stitches are literally like for an example, um, there's a really pretty way of doing a, a stitch technique that is specific for um, sewing and enforcing the bottom and top edges of corset channels and they look like pieces of art but they're the actual stitch it's not it, it looks pretty but it was meant for garments that were under clothes you didn't see those stitches only you know they were there because you are the one who most likely put them there kind of thing you know, and then once corsets became mass produced, those fancy stitches became less popular and they figured out ways that like, instead of doing the fancy stitches, they do three rows of straight hand stitching. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's a stitch that kind of looks like this. Like it goes up like this and in the middle two stitches are the longest and then they're shorter and afterwards. And it's really pretty. And then there's like a single stitch in the center. And it, it looks like a fancy flower. And, it, and it's literally just to reinforce the bottom and top edges of where um, the boning and corsets are in the channels. And it's actually a very efficient way of reinforcing those things, but it's also bulky. So if you're hand sewing corsets now, or you're machine stitching them, if machine stitching has allowed us to use fabrics that are not typical typically used for corsets like vinyl for example pleather is another one because corsets used to be made out of linen cotton and leather they were not made out of all that the fancy stuff that doesn't last like brocade is a, a tightly woven fabric and that's very common for for corsets not be, not just because it looked good but because it was sturdy Brocade was made into curtains and wallpaper <laughs> and couch fabric because it lasted forever. Um, a lot of the long lost art pieces like clothing that you see in museums now, a lot of the fabric was brocade because it lasted so fucking long. And it was usually um, a blend of some sort. Usually it was like silk and cotton or silk and wool because cotton by itself does not last very long. Um, it, it diminishes with wear and tear. Um, cotton is easily dyed. Of course, we didn't have polyester in the height of corset making because polyester is made out of plastic. Um, so the majority of things were linen or... <laughs> things were usually linen or cotton. Um silk or wool and depending on how high class you were de determined what kind of wool you were wearing were you wearing sheep's wool were you wearing nasty old goat wool or were you wearing that fancy angora shit you know 
or silkworm silk, you know, instead of bamboo cotton, you know, because bamboo cotton is fairly new too. What was that? Angora? I'm confused. <laughs> I like that person's screen name. I picture them going, IDK, something creative. I don't know. <laughs> Like, like someone texting. I like it. That wasn't me poking fun. I actually do like the screen name. It's cute. Um, my cat, Wendy, is a long-haired, um, something. Uh, she's actually a ragamuffin, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't, can't say as in filtered out. Yeah, um, that's another fabric. Because um, it's, I don't know, I guess it's considered illegal in wherever TikTok is hosted. I have no clue. Um, by the way, TikTok, hemp is not an illegal substance. They make it into paper and clothing and lotion and food. <laughs> a matter of fact I bought we got a bag of hemp hearts from freaking Whole Foods so um my least favorite cotton type to work with is bamboo cotton cause it sheds cause bamboo's a short fiber it can be long but it is in fact a short fiber it pulls apart really easily um but it makes the most silk-like fabric that is dense. So it's very... It's really good if you want something that will block the wind, but won't make you um, sweat profusely. Um, satin is better for your hair, though. So if you have hair and you want to have healthy hair... Stop using natural fibers. Use synthetic and use satin. There is a reason why people with certain hair types use the fabrics that they use. Because other fabrics will draw moisture right out. And it's not just true for them, it's true for everyone. The second that I switched to synthetic pillowcases, the back of my head stopped itching. And I could not figure out for the life of me, nope, it's satin, because silk will absorb oils and, and moisture too, because it is a natural fiber. You need something that will not absorb because it's plastic. So polished satin. Um, so here's the thing, I could not figure out for the life of me why the back of my scalp was itching. I tried shampoos. I went to the doctor and told him. He looked at it. My skin looked fine. I didn't have dandruff. I didn't have um, parasites. I didn't have, you know, lice or fleas or anything like that. I, the shampoo and conditioner I was using, I was not allergic to. I could not figure it out. Um... And when I wanted to, when I started on my hair journey to try reclaim my curls, which I should be sleeping in a bonnet, but I move so damn much it doesn't really matter. Um, I switched to silk because I was planning on relocking my hair. And I mean, I switched to, not silk, I switched to satin because I had planned on relocking my hair. Never got around to doing that because my hair started to thin from the anemia. That's why I keep my hair, my hair flipped over. Because anemia gave me alopecia. Um, so my hair started to fall out. And um, 
So I didn't want to I didn't want to risk locking it and then losing the lock just because my hair was so I was shedding it so fast. Not that the lock would have pulled it out. No. Um my hair itself was just and this has been like this for months. Like there it's not growing back. Um it's not getting worse thankfully. It kind of stopped. Um, but the second I switched to the satin pillows, the back of my head stopped itching that night. I woke up and I didn't have, because I thought it was because I was wearing, like, my hair up too tight or something. Um, but dead center back here where my head rests on the pillow, right there. Oh, it was so bad. It was so dry. And now, um, now my pillows don't look like they were submerged in an oil slick. Because it was absorbing so much from my hair. It was stripping the conditioner out of it. Um, because of using cotton and linen pillowcases. Um, there, it's so it's so bad. It's so bad for your scalp and your hair. And then, in, and then to overcompensate, your, your scalp produces even more oil. So your hair gets dirtier more quickly. And looks gross more quickly switch to satin it will save your hair and if you are one of those traveling sleepers you will definitely notice less breakage because your hair is no longer brittle and dry and dying of thirst and your scalp will be healthier and your pill if you are the type of person who cannot wear a bonnet and you wear product in your hair at night your p satin pillows are less likely to absorb your product cotton and microfiber is sometimes a cotton blend not always it's often polyester thank goodness um but microfiber is made in such a way that it is meant to be absorbent so it's different than polyester which is what satin is Satin is polished polyester, so it's not porous. Um, and anything natural. Uh, wool is a moisture wicking fabric, but it is a natural fiber and will absorb moisture. So, bamboo, silk cotton, linen, anything with those blends, bamboo, any natural fiber will be overly absorbent and will strip your hair. What was that? Oh, yes and they're super cheap you can get them for like under six dollars or under seven dollars on Amazon for a two pack both my pillows are silk that one is for between my knees that's my microfiber the two pillows for my head are satin so much better for you <laughs> Sometimes I rant about uh, natural fibers. Other times I talk about other things. But I am a fiber artist, so it would stand to reason that I would know about fiber, fibers, even if they are pertaining to hair. Best but it would also stand to reason that if certain fibers absorb dye more easily than others, they also absorb moisture too. Mm -hmm. 
something rational. I am aware now. You're fine, darling. I do that so many times. Usually people swipe up by accident when they're sending likes and stuff. I do it all the time in Billy's Live. I'm like, <laughs> This is the end of my hair ran anyway. <laughs> Didn't miss much. Oh yeah, absolutely. for all the likes. I went from 14 to over 800. So far. I may have to find my bigger size crochet hook because this is looking a little tight. It's a little snug. Not gonna lie. 
I have to go up in size, do an I instead of H. Welcome back. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little cranky. My knee hurts. <laughs> Are you holding up? I mean, I wanted to ask how you're doing without airing your laundry, you know? I don't want to say what was bothering you because it's not my story to tell. I just want to check in with you, you know? Because I actually care about the people in my life and lives. <laughs> Yeah. 
Did she at least give you a reason for leaving? I mean, you don't have to say what it is here, but did she at least give you one? That's wild. I'm sorry. Why are people like that? I don't understand. At least give a reason. Especially if it's something I did. Like, I've had people ghost me for no reason. Or seemingly, I don't know, conversation was going great and then they unmatch or they leave the conversation. I don't know what I said. Maybe I said too many things. I don't know. Hey, Steph? There you go. Yeah. I need some more water and juice up here, please. Okay, I've got three bottles, I believe, out in the van. I didn't stop for water. I do got to go back out. I am very sorry. <laughs> oh, here's some water. You guys. Plus, bottles are easier to lift. And they travel more easily. There you go. Ah, Zara. You're welcome. Yep. Oh, I'm bringing you water without the pizza. For some reason, two waters equal one water, one Gotta love that. Yeah, that's how math. That's how math works, apparently. Yeah, because this is all I have for water left. Box is open. There's two. Yeah, because I didn't see which one it was. I figured. Really good. It's gonna pull out. Yeah, it almost looked like streaming. Yeah. I should have known whenever your face is up on there, you're streaming. Thank you. Your face. I see it. On the I, I see my face too. <laughs> yeah. Can I see Charlie? over at the camper. Did they tell you to stay up here? Okay. I don't either. Well. Okay. What's that? What? Oh, I thought you said something. You said something else. Yeah, I was talking to someone else. Alright. Can I have a bad I mean... I have a little tact. I don't go out of my way to hurt people's feelings. He wants a bath because he thinks he's going to be playing with toys in that bathtub. Out. Out. What's that? Talking to Zora. Okay. You want to have set of the Echo One? Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Jason, that is not how you get things down the stairs, dude. 
Not cool, Jason. They screamed earlier. Well, twice. Uh, once before he fed them and then once after, but they calmed down after he left. Listening to him try and logic with them is hilarious.